Hi everyone, here's a quick trick you can learn to incorporate into your solos. We're going to use a combination of bends and tap notes, which will sound like this. So how do these work? Well, we're going to start off by doing a full tone bend with our fretting hand, and then you tap a note higher up the neck of the guitar and release the bend. So you effectively end up having a sound of a regular bend here on this part of the neck, and then you hear the effect of a pre-bend release with that tap note. Now, of course, the note that we tap has to be in key or in the scale that we're using for the solo. So the thing you have to bear in mind is that whilst you have a full tone bend here with your fretting hand, whatever note you tap is actually gonna sound a whole tone higher than what that fret ordinarily would. So for example, if I've got a full tone bend here on the B string and I tap the 15th fret here of the B string, normally that note would be a D note, but because the string is a full tone bend, you're gonna hear an E note and it's only when you release the bend that the pitch will come back down to D that you would ordinarily expect the 15th fret to be there. You can of course also do this with half tone bends but you have to make sure that you're very careful that you're using a place in the scale where you've got two notes that are a semitone apart so that you can do that half step bend and then similarly tap the note in the right place to then release a half step bend as well. Another way in which you can build a combination of these kind of techniques is if you do a bend and then you tap and release a note, but then before you kind of flick this tapped note off as a pull off, you actually move your fretting hand up to a different fret and then you can pull that off and then have this bend come up, then tap a different note higher up, release that one, etc., etc. A final and slightly trickier way in which I'm going to use this technique in the example I'm about to show you is when I'm going to do that same bend and then tap note, but then I'm also going to use my little finger here of my picking hand to pluck two strings, the high E string followed by the B string, so that I'm then kind of hearing that tap note release a little bit more clearly after I've played the note on the high E string like that. Okay, I've written a short example solo in the key of A minor, which is going to use this technique in a variety of different ways. Let's check it out. I hope you enjoyed learning this technique and that you can find ways of incorporating it into your own solos. If you found this video useful, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment if you've got any questions and hit the subscribe button to help out the channel. Thanks very much for watching.